Now, I've just heard Nigel Farage speaking on social media, and he's not happy with Ofcom at all. Now, if you don't know who Ofcom is, it is effectively a a tool, a weaponized tool used by the woke establishment in order to regulate and censor people and organizations which uh, step out of line, basically. And he reckons, as well as I do, that Ofcom have a hand in making sure that uh, Nigel Farage, no reform, gets enough coverage during this general election. Now, reform are trailing in the polls in Scotland and London, but in most of England, they are quite clearly the challengers to Labour. They've overtaken the Conservatives and are second place in most polls. And yet, despite this, Nigel Farage wasn't on the BBC leaders' debate the other evening. And he talks about the mainstream media and even mentions his old employers, GB News, uh, for being part in the mainstream media cabal. Because, in my opinion, they have turned on him as well. But it's evident that Ofcom is like the mastermind who have given these broadcasters the rules. And these rules are quite simple. They say that while broadcasters should take into account the current level of opinion polls, the main determinant of how much coverage each party gets is their performance in the last two general elections. Of course, reform is brand new, and it hasn't contested properly a general election before. Now, because of these rules, reform are only getting 8% coverage because they're new. And this is the same as the Green Party, despite polling three times higher than they do. Even the SNP get more coverage here in England, and nobody in England even has the chance to vote for them. And they don't have a cat's hope in hell of getting into Downing Street anyway, yet the main broadcasters here in England are giving them loads of coverage, which is deeply unfair. And as Nigel Farage said, and I completely agree, these rules are designed to keep British politics as the little click which is easily controlled. And this is amounting to election interference, surely. Because they are denying the public the chance of hearing the truth from every party across the board. Now, because of this, Nigel Farage is quite angry and he's looking into how to challenge Ofcom to make the rules more fair because they're rigging this election in favour of the existing parties. And reform are definitely a threat because even though you see these um, woke leftists on social media dismissing Nigel Farage and reform and the candidates and saying no one's going to vote for them anyway. And yet they're all on that side there. They're going to these lengths, this massive effort to cancel them, hide them from view and not get them elected. So there we go. Two weeks to go until the election itself. But there'll be more of this to come, I promise you. And that's that. I'm Paz49. Thanks for listening. And until the next time, Roger Trout.